end, correct? Yeah. Okay. The brick, yeah. The brick part and that I was just showing. This part was added in 94 after a fire that almost destroyed the tavern building. And luckily somebody recognized it. So we have a kind of a mix of videos that's going to be released in this single video um, due to just not enough footage between the two thrift stores. And then we also went to a small town antique mall and um i kind of combined the three there's a lot of interesting things and some historical facts so keep watching so you can find out what all happens just found this cute little owl um it is made in china but it's still really nice for six dollars i think i'm gonna get it and then we found this bowl too um it's only four bucks with the rippled it's hand blown you can see the planktal here and we're about to go over here and look at this and that and i'll be back with you in a second oh, the bottom of this cabinet that i didn't see at first was this bowl and i really like it it appears to be hand painted it's got some chips on it though so i think we're gonna pass um this is a knockoff and this is really light ceramic um, and I don't think it's worth grabbing just because of the size and it's not signed. So it's not really an art pottery piece. It just looks like it's probably mass produced. Um, no on that too. This is a Dorothy Thorpe bowl with a gold band on it. It's really heavy. This is hand painted milk glass. Sometimes it'll glow. It does not really nice looking. They want three bucks for it. It's like a trinket dish. Hey Larry, what do you think about this? It's hand painted. Milk glass, Aladdin glass, because it's real swirled. Maybe. These are really cool, but I think they're missing some of their pieces. I'm not sure who makes them though. They got them priced individually. My husband totally missed the Hager vase. He was in front of me. He said there's a bad spot on it. Let's see. Where's the bad spot at? Quit pulling on me, please. Where? That's just smuts. It just needs cleaned off because of all that stuff on the inside. That would be perfect for Halloween. And decorating for fall. I want eight bucks for it though. I don't know if I love it for eight dollars. I'm gonna look it up and see if it's worth buying for eight dollars. It's kind of heavy, so it's gonna be a lot to ship. So a blue one sold for fifteen. So I think we're gonna get it because black is more predominant than a light blue color. I like the design of this bowl. Never heard of it before though. So it looks like on average these are selling for around $4. Uh, they're set for sale for $4. They're selling for an average of $18. I just don't have the creamer. I think we're going to get these. This is really pretty. You want to hold it up Larry so I can show them? Not that though, silly. <laughs> I can hold the vase. I think this is supposed to have a top. This is supposed to be like a ginger jar. He just found these um, flags. They don't sell for a whole lot, but if they only got like a dollar a piece for them. Yeah, it's a car. Um, they don't sell for a whole lot, but if they're only like a dollar or two, we can get like 12 or 13 bucks and they're an easy ship. There's two Halloween and an Easter one. The Easter one obviously won't sell until spring. And then um, the one's got some stains, but I think you can get it clean. Just look like a little dirt mark on it. All right, my model, show me, show us the last one. It's really just showing more on the one side than the other. That shows it'll come out even easier. That nylon material tends to clean up easily as well. Good job, model. Yeah, good job. Mia, are you dancing again? Dancing to your own beat, huh? Just found these Halloween vintage um, wicker pumpkins. We're gonna purchase those. They're gonna go home with us. 
They're pretty cool. For some reason, this little tiny one doesn't have a face, so we're gonna leave it behind. We went to the St. Vincent de Paul and the Goodwill the other day, spent about $45, and found some really neat things. Um, some of them are already listed, so check them out on my eBay, and come check out my whatnot. Oh, look at this adorable fused glass Santa dish. She's a cute. I think he's either $2.99 or $3. I don't know. There's two prices on him, but I think we're going to get him as well. He's adorable. He's kind of big, but... I still think he's really cute. We are at the St. Vincent de Paul, and this is a um, like paper mache Santa. So he's only two bucks. I think we might get him. He's pretty cool looking. Was, this caught my eye too, but I'm not really sure what it is. So. Oh, it's a little, like, catchy, but they're Christmas trees. Those are adorable. I think we'll get those, too. What are they? Price at two bucks, too? Yes, please. This is a Teleflora vase, but I just think it's really pretty. So I think we might get it. It's not a high dollar, but they only got two bucks on it. So they might go home. I do like these a lot, too. But they, um... I have some staining on them. I put some hand sanitizer to see if I can get it off, but I can't get that off of there. So I don't, I don't know. Now it's coming off my nail. So I went three dollars a piece though. So I'm gonna say no because I don't know the value of those. This has got a pretty glaze. That looks like something more modern. I've sold a similar set of this, a set of three before. They have 10 on it though, so I don't think it's worth 10. And it's got some damage right there to the enamel. And then I noticed this too on the top shelf. Y'all keep in mind that I'm not very tall, so when this camera is on my chest, I can't point it up unless I move it. And there's a shadow box in the very back, but I can't even reach that sucker. They got a lot of neat stuff here today, though. This looks like it's supposed to have a stopper to it. It's got a nice polished bottom, but it's missing its stopper. I do have stoppers at the house, but for $12 without a stopper, I don't know about that. It's a nice little crew, and it's more of decorative than anything, but... They got 10 bucks on it. I don't know if it's worth that to me. I like this one too, but it's completely modern. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know who that is. I know it's some type of cartoon. That's all I know. This is a made to look alike Linux box, but it is not Linux. Um, and then this is really cool. I looked it up. It's Rick and Morty, but they got 15 bucks on that thing. And it's it's only listed on eBay for 20 And then this is probably, I was going to say Avon, and I was right. It's an old Avon bottle. It's a really pretty cranberry glass cruet um, pitcher, but it's got 15 bucks on it, but it is really pretty. It's got some marking on there, but I can't quite see what it is. Looks like it's half half on there. Mm, false craft. It's kind of pretty, but I don't really care for that. It doesn't sell very well for me. Found this little kitschy bear. I don't know what it is, but it says made in France. It's only a buck. I think someone held pins in it because of the way the inside of it looks. But I'm not really sure what exactly it is, but this is my favorite aisle out of the whole store. This is the aisle I like to come to. Get to look at all the figurines. Somebody painted a rock on top of some other rocks. Look at the creepy doll. Ooh, its eyes move. Mm, creepy, creepy. It's a carved pumpkin um, made out of a coconut shell. It's pretty cool looking. We're gonna buy it. It's only two bucks. 
That's pretty neat looking. These are pretty cool. They're made with soccer clay is what it says on the bottom of them. Set of three little um, sea eel. I don't know what they're called. They're called sea lions. <laughs> I think I'm going to get them. They're only $3 for the set of three of them. And I'm kind of a sucker for the littles. I don't know why. Just am. This was like here like a month ago when I was here. And then, no clue what this is, but let's pull it out and see. Looks like something somebody made. Looks like a wall plaque with some faces on it. It's a uh, pretty cool looking. I don't know if it's for us. I don't know what it is. And it's not signed either. This is cute. I currently have one though and I haven't sold them yet. But I just like the colors and wanted to show you guys because of it is stunning. But if it was a pair, I'd probably get it. Even though my other ones haven't sold. But since it's a single, I'm going to leave it here. But it is really pretty. This one right here. Yes. Savasi Crystal. For six dollars we looked it up it varies in price but christmas is coming and people buy this stuff for christmas for people so i think we're gonna get it and it's in its original box even though it's like peeling pretty cool dip my arbok glasses there i want 28 for them I would have to look them up to see if they're worth that, but they're really pretty. I love the glaze on them. It's not a whole lot at this estate sale, but there's a lot of cool things. Um, it's like a miniature apothecary jar. I think we'll take that. I didn't see it. So this is always why you walk through a second time, because you always miss things the first time. I really like this lampshade. I think I'm going to ask if I can just buy a lampshade, because I don't want the lamp. I don't really care for the evil like style stuff. It's just not for me. This is all fabric and bags and stuff. I don't know if there's sa sales been going on for a few days and there's just been wiped out, but there's not a whole lot left. Until this is an older uh, house, it has that, that old house smell. Yeah. Oh, it's a mop clown, it looks like. I've read that these sell really, I've heard that these sell really well. This one looks like it may have been cut, but it doesn't look like it, but it hasn't got it all trimmed out. And here's another one. I wonder if they, they don't feel like... Oh, they are. It is. These are those blankets that you can plug in. Oh, look at the cat back there. I wonder who makes that. Who are they asking for it? Perfect kitty, it says. Ten bucks. I like the cat a lot. That's a plant. That's a panther. This is an antique mall um, in New Trenton, Indiana. This blue is really pretty. Very elegant little blue flowers on it. Some art pottery. Here is um, some fused glass that looks like candy on there. That's super cool looking. 
she wants eighteen dollars for it. That's not a bad price. I really like these over here. I wonder if they glow under black light. She wants fifty-two dollars. A, a regular camera with me, but I accidentally left it back well, at you know camp. Why? So. Well, I bet these glow too. That works. Blue Those are pretty. Diamond. Yes, ma'am. You know, old things are, I don't know, they're just, they have a. You remember there's an upstairs and downstairs, right? Yes, ma'am, I remember. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to purchase anything today. This lady's really, really nice. I might have to find something to buy really just came here to kind of show you guys and talk about her shop here. It's in um, New Trenton, Indiana. It's a little small town. Um, this is really, really pretty. It's probably Ber um, Germany. It's not marked, but it, it's probably that's where it's from. Oh, look at that. An enamel painting is stunning. That green underneath it. I may have to come out here. I bought one of these a few years, a year or so ago from her, like this, and I already sold it. This is a really old building. I can't remember how old she said it was. When I get back over near the part of the building that she's in, I'll ask her if she knows um, how old the building is, and we'll get a little bit of history history on the building. I think it's pre World War One, but I don't exactly remember. This looks like a Fenton. Fenton. With that enamel painting on it. I mean, it's an upstairs and a downstairs. Look at that. I'm always drawn to these. But they don't move very fast for me. I think the doll stuff is all upstairs. Oh, that moved as I... So this building is all creaky. And as you step... It's like... Look at that gorgeous ceiling. I just stopped. I'm scared it's going to fall. <laughs> yeah, last time, yeah, this is where all the weird dolls are. Like baby dolls and stuff. Look at this building. It's so pretty. Yeah, this is where all the creepy dolls are that are like possessing you. Looks like the eyes are following you even though they're not moving. They're gonna like move and kill me. Creepy dolls. Little kids clothes. Oh, look at the little donkey horse. Is it a horse or is it a donkey? I say horse. Horse. Console bowl there. 